So tonight I have to break the news uh, to these patients in regards to what happened. It was a brazen daylight theft at this wig shop in Toronto. A suspect walks in with an empty bag and pretends to browse the inventory. He then swipes three of the wigs and walks out past a lone employee who's helpless to do anything. He kept touching them, touching. Melanda Josephs is the co-owner of the shop in Yorkville, which provides customized wigs primarily for medical purposes. They can run upwards of $1,500 each, but Joseph says the true cost of this theft is to the people for whom they were made. These are wigs that uh, cancer patients been waiting on for over four months now and it finally came in yesterday even 10 minutes before he got here. The wigs are made from human hair and shipped in from Europe and Asia. They're customized for each client to fit for head size and shape as well as style and color. Joseph says many of her clients undergoing chemotherapy prefer these wigs because they're more natural, breathable and comfortable. They more closely replicate a patient's own hair making them feel more normal. What do you think? I look like a cotton candy, but I love it. <laughs> like, it was fun. It was exciting. It made it less sad. <laughs> yeah. 16 year old Nika Gassimi was diagnosed with cancer just last week and came in with her parents this afternoon to find the right fit and style for her. Like, knowing that I'm not going to have hair soon, it's just like, it's just like nice to know that it's there. I mean, it's, it's a confidence thing. Because, like, Hair is obviously going to give you confidence. She says she understands how devastating it would be if she was one of those clients waiting for a wig that ended up being stolen. It's hard losing your hair, like especially for women. I, I feel like it's like really hard. You have that weight and that delay, and you're so excited and that built up like excitement for it, and it's just taken away. That's really sad. Melanda estimates the total loss from the three wigs to be about $15,000. She believes the thieves are aiming to sell them online, often for a much lower price, but it's not the money she cares about. If they rob me, even if they came in and rob money, but these are patients who I imagine have to go through chemotherapy and to hear you've been waiting for like four months and I'm sorry, but your wig was robbed yesterday. Now Joseph says she still has to speak to her clients to determine where to go from here, but it is possible that they'll have to wait another four months for the next wig to be delivered in Yorkville. Erica Natividad, City News.